Hey, since you guys had some questions about installing the usual data science related Python libraries on the new MacBook Pro and the performance of the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 compared to the usual stuff, I thought let's do a quick video to answer those things. So let's roll. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Johannes Frey, but you can simply call me Joe. And I've been working as a software engineer for more than 15 years. And before we start, I would like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel so far. You guys are the best. And to everyone else, please consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. As I said, I got some comments with questions regarding the typical data science libraries on our M1 MacBook. And I really would like to answer them. So let's start with installing those libraries. I will create a new environment for them and we will walk through it together. The first thing that we need to do is to install Miniforge, which is a minimal installer for Conda that is configured to use ConduForge as a channel to get the packages from. We need to do this since it contains the ARM versions of the libraries that we need. Right now, you won't be successful using virtual environments and PIP as you might be used to. For now, you need to settle with Conda. This might change in the future though, so keep an eye out for that. After that, we can use Conda to create new environments and install all the packages that we need. I have prepared some code snippets, mainly consisting of examples from the respective websites to show that the stuff is actually working. That wasn't so hard so far, was it? With that out of the way, let's install TensorFlow with GPU support for the M1. To do that, visit the link that I put down in the description and you can basically follow the instructions. But let's do it together. It's basically three commands that you need to run. With that, we can now fire up a Jupyter notebook and check whether our GPU is recognized. Looks good so far. Now you should be all set to start your super awesome data science projects. Now I would like to answer the benchmarking questions that I got. So because I don't have a crap ton of laptops and other devices lying around, I can only compare the M1 Max MacBook Pro with 64 gigabytes of RAM to my big boy with 256 gigabytes of RAM and dual NVIDIA 3090s from ASUS. So I decided to run an example from the TensorFlow website using the Cypher 10 datasets to train a CNN to classify images. The only change that I did was that I increased the number of epochs to 30 to make it run a bit longer. And in the end, I increased the number of epochs to 100 to see whether it gets slower the longer it runs. I trained the model several times using my M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 with the charger, on battery, with automatic power and with high power, power profiles. Oh, that is a tongue twister. Um, yeah, so the observation was that first, it doesn't matter whether you run it on battery or uh, whether it's plugged in. The second observation was, I couldn't hear any fans spinning up, which is a good thing. And the third observation was that with each run, it got a bit slower. The first run was six minutes and 33 seconds. The second run was six minutes and 36 seconds. And the third run was six minutes and 38 seconds. Hmm. Maybe there is some saturation going on, but also I didn't run it like for 100 times or like 1000 times because I don't have time for that. So yeah, take that with a grain of salt maybe. Those times are with 30 epochs. The big boy running the same thing on only one of the two uh, 3090s did it in five minutes and 14 seconds, by the way. For 100 epochs, the difference was about 22 minutes on the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 and about 17 minutes on the big boy. So the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 is about 26 to 28% slower than the big boy with an NVIDIA 3090, at least on my tests. I hope that that video helped you and answered some questions that you might have had. If so, going completely nuts on the subscribe button and all the notification icons that you can find would be really appreciated. So far, so good. See you in the next video and bye.